Good morning everyone, it's me again and I'm going to be telling another story today and I know that people have been requesting stories and I forgot about it but I remembered it. So today I'm going to read The Biscuit Bear. If you can guess, I am outside, it is really nice so I thought I'd come outside today where there's more room and tell the story out in the playground. So let's start. Our story starts with a lump of pastry that Horace's mum gave him, which Horace would usually roll over the floor and the furniture until it was deep grey and fluffy and quite a lot smaller. But today, Horace's mum gave him a biscuit cutter in the shape of a bear to use. Horace stomped out a pastry bear and gave it current eyes and a current nose. Horace's mum put it in the oven. 20 minutes later and the biscuit bear was golden colour and smelt lovely and Horace's wanted to take a bite but no Horace said Horace's mum it's too hot you must wait for it to cool down. An hour later Horace remembered the cooled biscuit bear and was about to take a bite but no Horace said Horace's mum you're just about to have dinner you will spoil your supper before bedtime Horace thought of the golden biscuit bear and he was just gazing at it but no Horace said Horace's mum you have just cleaned your teeth can you see? Horace put the biscuit bear in a little tin and put it on his pillow. Can you see? It was the middle of the night. Biscuit bear woke up. He yawned and stretched oh, and looked about for somebody to play with. Everyone seemed to be asleep. Biscuit Bear had an idea. I shall make some friends, he said to himself and went to the kitchen. Biscuit Bear found butter and flour and milk. He mixed up a mixture and rolled it and shaped it. Wow and put the first batch of friends in the oven to cook. He's a clever bear. When they had called Biscuit Bear, dressed them in icing of many colours, hundreds and thousands, and candy peel and glazed cherries, and a little silver balls. And now Biscuit Bear said to his new friends, let the fun begin. Oh, wow. Roll up, roll up. One night only the Biscuit Bear Circus is performing in the kitchen. Watch the acrobats as they toss and tumble. Gasp at the strong bear, raise the rolling pin. Scream with surprise as the astronaut is fired from the ketchup bottle. Wow, they look like they're having fun. The circus was just exciting, but no one noticed the shadow looming in the doorway. Oh, can you see it? What do you think it is? Have you got any guesses? Let's see if I'm right. Oh, Bingo the dog liked biscuits, but not in a way that necessarily good for the biscuits. Biscuit Bear just managed to climb the to safety. Wow. Biscuit Bear looked sadly at the mess 
he suddenly realised that he needed to find a place where a biscuit could be safe. Oh, he's sad. When Horace woke the next morning, he reached for the tin that had contained the little biscuit bear, but all he found was crumbs and a card that looked familiar. The, fur, the life of the biscuit is usually short and sweet, but Biscuit Bear had found somewhere safe to be. Mm, look where he's going. The Golden Bun. Biscuit Bear is in the pastry shop display. Some of it is cardboard, covered in icing. Some of it is plaster. It looks delicious, but it can never be eaten. The display changes through the year, but Biscuit Bear is always the star. Spring, summer and winter. What a clever bear. Look. So he's never ever going to be eaten. What a clever bear that is. Well done. I love it. Right, um, I'm going to say goodbye now. Please stay safe. Okay, do lots of learning. We miss you all every, every day. We're not here, but we will see you soon. Carry on watching us. Have a lovely, lovely week and enjoy the rest of the summer term. And I'll see you soon. Bye.